The next self-defense is against a rear double shoulder grab. So I'm standing there, the person comes to grab my shoulders from behind. I'm going to protect my, my head with the opposite hand guard position. Step back between the legs and drive up on an angle with my right arm, which is a combination of a right upward block and a right outward extended block. Watch that again. So the person's here and they grab, guard, step back and drive. Now, you notice how he went off balance and was driven backwards? That's what you're trying to accomplish. Also make sure in this technique, that when he grabs, don't walk so high in the arm that his elbow bends, because if his elbow bends, you'll walk right into it. So he grabs, guard, step back and drive up. Now all you do is track down the arm to the wrist, and we're right back to that old cross wrist grab. Step in and break down, standard buckle, standard hammer lock, control the arm, control the arm with your knee, and apply the lock. The next self-defense captured branches blind. So once again, it's both shoulders, double grab, blind means he's behind me. So as he grabs me like this, in the manipulation self-defense, you learn to step back and drive up to control that arm. The other reason why we teach you to step back in this technique is a lot of times people, when they come and grab you from behind, aren't just gonna grab you. They're probably gonna grab and pull you or push you. The worst scenario to be in is to be pulled because you're losing your balance. So as the person grabs, if he steps back and pulls me, by stepping back, it allows me to keep my balance. If he was to take me forward, you would step ahead and then you could do the same idea, okay? So in the ideal phase, you just gotta hold. So captured branches blind. Step back between the legs and drive up, which exposes the ribs. You do a one-third reverse punch into those ribs here. Pow, that's going to lean him forward. The right hand will track down grabbing the wrist. The left hand will palm the back of his head. The right leg will skip up and kick into the groin with a front kick. That's all three things at once, okay? So from here, block and strike. Step up, pull, kick and hit, go forward, and this is up this way with an upward lifting back knuckle into the face. So you finally get to use one of these techniques where you hit his face, it continues to come up as you turn, snaking over top. You step back and pull him to the ground, drop your weight with the left knee into the chest, into the rib area and punch his face here. Ha! Then kick through his face and cover out. Grabs from behind from this position. You're gonna step back, lift and punch this way. So you hit, bam, right there. Skip up, pull, palm, and kick here, go forward, and hit his face. Now as you're hitting his face with that upward lifting back knuckle, you don't keep your left hand on his head, it'll actually slide to his shoulder. This will snake up into a claw as you step back and pull him to the ground, left knee, left punch, and kick, okay? Just wanna make the point with this technique that a lot of times in many martial arts, the attack will come, they'll do a block, they'll do a punch. They'll do a block, they'll do a strike. In Kenjite, we try and get you to strike with your movements so you're immediately responding. Way back to thrusting hammer outside. When you slipped, you didn't slip then hit, you slipped and hit. <coughs> thrusting hammer inside. You slipped, you didn't just punch, then you slipped and punched. Same idea with this technique. When he's here, as I step back and lift, there's the punch. So I've done something immediately. And I'm always doing more than one strike whenever I can to keep the guy busy. Okay? Captured, branches, blind.
I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you would like to learn more about what we do, please visit our website at www.kenjuteinternational.com where you too can get involved with Kenjute's online learning program from anywhere in the world. Thanks for watching.